Hey, what's up, YouTube land? It's your boy, Eddie Hill, the White Oak, Pennsylvanian toy collector. And you know what time it is again this week. It is a new week here on A Hill's Reviews, starting Sunday. And it's time for another Eddie Hill review. It's review time, people. And we have ourselves another Transformers third-party figure. This is the last one I picked up that I haven't reviewed. I've been waiting to review this. This is the Transformers. Not Transformers, but Mars Converters. T-Rex. And he's like Grimlock style. Why not? Because we got Grimlock, Bone Stego, and now we're reviewing T-Rex. The last figure I picked up from this epic Mars Converter toy line. And this shows all the other figures I don't have. I got these two. Don't have that one, that one, that one, or that one, or that one quite yet. But if they ever have the other ones at DG, I will try to pick those up but now we're gonna look at t-rex himself and his posability in his dino mode bend at the knee due to his art transformation joint for his arms head can move up and down to so go like Rawr. tail can move due to due to the transformation why not but now we're going to get down to the most important thing on this channel is comparison. Bone Stego next to good old T-Rex. Why not? Not a bad third party transformer, if I do say so myself. And of course, good old Glory Dragon. I just love saying his name because he's a fun name to say. But now we're going to transform this Dinobot into his epic robot mode. Start folding these little dino hands down. Fold these down. Fold his legs like that. We're going to push this little lever right here to push up his head which is kind of the tricky part split his head Ooh, i popped his uh, dino head out of the socket <laughs> kind of happens quite a bit okay and now flip down his body for that we push his head up 100 percent And there we got Glory Dragon's robot mo not Glory Dragon, but T-Rex's epic robot head. And it's not a bad looking robot head. Then we fold these up, fold these down, to form T-Rex's feet in his robot mode. And that's a good looking robot so far. Now we flip these down like so, form his arms. Flip out his hand. Second verse, just like the first. Fold these back. Flip down his hands. And give T-Rex his sword of justice. So he can go slash, 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 slash. He's got some really good articulation in this mode. And I absolutely love that. Arms on a ball joint, so you get some good ball joint movement. Head is not on a ball joint. Not a bad figure for a third party figure. But we're going to get some robot mode comparisons with this epic Mars Converter T Rex. I'm going to transform Bone Stego to a comparison next to him because. He reminds me of Grimlock. 
And as you know, me Grimlock King. Yeah, Grimlock says me Grimlock King. But this is kind of faithful to almost the last night in Age of Extinction Grimlock, which I do like about this figure. That's what I like about it. It's not terrible. It's good looking. And they look cool. And transforming him is very easy. I will say that. Transforming these are easy. But here we got his fellow Dinobot from the Mars Converter line. It is Bone Stego. And they look good together, if I do say so myself. And finally, the last comparison is with none other than Glory Dragon, which is one of my first Mars Converters I picked up here on this channel. As you know, I never picked these things up before. Now I've gotten these, I absolutely love these figures. Other people say these Mars Converter figures are not pretty good. Like, uh, use all some Transformers. But they're actually not terrible for third-party figures. I'd have to say for a 10 buck third third-party figure line, this ain't actually bad. And I got these for 5 bucks each after Christmas. So yeah, these were absolutely a really good price is a trans transforming Mars Converter T-Rex worth adding to your collection. Well, if you don't have the Last Night movie Grimlock, or you don't have any of the other Dinobots, these actually make good fill-ins. Since I don't have any of the Last Night or Age of Extinction Dinobots. And that's what I like about these things. I'd say they're worth the money. And I highly recommend these two as a set because, man, they are dynamite. They have the dynamite fierce ferocity. <laughs> so, this is Eddie Hill getting ready to move on. But before that, if you like this video, please make sure to like. Please make sure to comment, and don't forget to subscribe for more videos like this. And this is Eddie Hill, moving on, and rock on and rock out, YouTube land.